Ready? Play. Fold. Start, isn't it? Wow, he's come to play, and we've 15. come to get entertained. Great angle of attack into that forehand side. Fifteen all. It's a difficult decision to make and a, and a difficult shot to make when 15, the defensive return comes back so high and deep. Not an easy ball to deal with. Fold. What a chance this is for Tiafo in the opening game. He's come to play. Look at this. Fifteen forty. come up with big first serves in the opening game of a match. Hashinov sees off the first break point though. Came off, it was brilliant, but it Jeez. was ambitious. Two minutes in to try and fire that backhand down the line for there. All the pressure on Hashinov. Doesn't want to lose his opening service game. Get off to a slow start. The split second decisions. You saw him point across court as if to say, well, I went for the wrong one there. off as part of the 70 shot rally wasn't he with Jason Kubler and that was just getting started advantage CFO but all ready this is delivering on the promise the promise to entertain and engage us third break point already for the American get the logic but again you just got to say in the opening game it is a very complicated return he does achieve that particular shot better than probably a lot of other players but it was still asking a lot of his talent
What I find a, a bit unsettling in the men's game uh, uh, edge. these days, CFL. and actually more so probably in the women's game, but bo both sides of the draw have a lot more trouble moving forward than they do laterally. I, I guess it's just natural. They play so many points from the back of the court. They're great at moving laterally. But Hashinov there had to move forward and then missed by a long way. How good is this tennis? First game. Advantage, TFO. Uh oh, memories of last night. <laughs> <laughs> this has got to last 10 hours. <laughs> I think we're safe. I'll be happy to be entertained until midnight. Always spare a thought for the fans that didn't make it in for the first game at this stage. They've still got two games to go. easy to attack this second serve. It's coming from a big height. It's coming in at 160 plus Ks. Advantage, Ashano. And that one even quicker. 170 Ks from Hashinov keeping Tiafo at bay. Beautifully blocked return from the American right onto the baseline of Hashinov's. He's abbreviated the swing on the forehand side nicely on the returns these days. But there's nothing you can do about that. Advantage, Kachanov. And Hachanov already dropping in almost 70% of his first serves. Tribute to the way that Tiafo started this match in terms of being able to carve out five break points, but the 18th seed with a chance to take the opening game. Yeah. Chances have come and gone for the American, and they may well be at a premium. fans down here that went to the same stand-up stand comedy uh, university as us at Wimbledon. Oh. I 
I've never really understood why it really ever has all. elicited a laugh from anyone when somebody at Wimbledon says, come on, Tim, <laughs> when he's not playing. <laughs> why, why is that even you, remotely funny? You, it's just elicited a, a bit of a giggle from both of us here. Yeah, well, because, why not at Wimbledon? Only because it's <laughs> purely ridiculous. <laughs> Come on, Tim Henman. Come on, Kyrgios already in this one. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You're saying leave the stand-up comedy to the professionals? Correct. Made of a funny structure, isn't it? 30 all. From TFO, it, it's it's a little bit unusual. It's effective. Uh, it occasionally gets a bit wobbly, I think. It's quite flicky, isn't it? Yeah. Sort of unique technique on it. fast into the forehand may be a plan from Hashinov. 30-40. I mean, that was an absolute gun of a return. And what a positive outcome this would be for Hashinov if he could get the break. <laughs> Having had his serve under siege in the opening game, saving five break points. Hashinov hasn't realized that. Hachanov leads two games to love. And that was the difference really between the two of them as well, wasn't it? It was just good discipline on the break, first break point. The pressure's right on there. We saw Francis try a very difficult redirect on his backhand after the ace from Hashinov. And the 18th seed gets the break. who was part of the victorious American team at the United Cup. Your brilliance from Tiafo. Love 30.
1530. Great record last season in getting the re-break, getting the break straight back after being broken. Down at 40, first around 14%. And that was 50% uh, worse than the best on the tour last year, which was Alcaraz, who was up at 30% of the time being able to get the break back. Okay, that's out. It is a bit of an enigma to me, that the, the Tiafo forehand. I mean, how good was that shot? But he does find it hard to time every ball perfectly on that wing. Oh. Oh. That's some genuine pace right there. Yeah. 203, the fastest of the contest so far. Back there, his agent. Very healthy mop of hair there, Wayne still possesses, isn't it? Jordi Alcanada, who was on the right of his picture, is somebody that Francis grew up playing with at his academy. Oh. A few battles over the years. Actually, played for a City Open wildcard on the right of your picture there. He just muscles this motion, doesn't he? A strong man. 40, 30. going to get a lot of love out here tonight and he will use it very effectively three games to one and as you've been highlighting already Fitzy there is a big delta on that forehand side at times if he has got time on the ball that most precious commodity for a tennis player he can create wonderful shots just like that I find Harshanov is, is one of those modern players that just brutalizes the ball. You know, there's a lot of touch involved in his game too often, but gee whiz, can he crack that thing? Big man. The beauty of tennis, all shapes and sizes.
Oh, a tough shot. That's why it's an enigma to me. Because in my mind, that was a difficult ball. It had no pace on it. He had to generate all of his own. Got a bit lucky with that one, but this ball is awkward. And he hooks it for a cold winner. Unusual. The forehand wing. Interesting to see whether Ashinoff uh, continues to serve quickly or he's going to give that blend of second serves. That one was a, a big drop off in pace there, and perhaps Francis got caught out by it and swung a little early, which is what contributed to the miss. A little subtle change. He's got a quick first step, hasn't he, Tiafo? He's a power athlete. Great setting for this match as well. Second largest stadium here at Melbourne Park. Continues this beautiful run on serve when he's needed a big first serve. He's found it and he's 4 1 up. <laughs> they seem good friends, these two. I have to say, that's not the first time that that's happened, that the uh, umpire's chair has almost taken someone out. It happened with Andy in his opening match with Berrettini. You mean this sharp edge yeah. on the umpire? <laughs> yeah, he's done well there, hasn't he? That sharp edge is about six feet off the ground, too. He's 6'6". Six, six. That, that wouldn't come together too well. I mean, because the umpire's not calling the lines, they could be a, a little further away, to be honest. Well, down 40 love and still making big efforts there. Doesn't want to throw this game away lightly, and that's admirable, I think from Hashinov's point of view. Gee, he moves well for a big man, because he is big. Yeah. 
Iran leads four games to two. 30 minutes on the clock. Balls will be at their slowest. Opportunity perhaps for the American to salvage this opening set and get the break back. He's a popular figure, isn't he, Francis? A real character for the men's game. He's getting a lot of success with that serve, isn't he? And it's coming in on a sharp diagonal. It's tough to cut it off. And you go further back, you're going to be over by the speed gun trying to get that ball back into play. So it's a little tricky at the moment for Tiafo to manage his return position. 30-50. Equal fastest serve of the opening set for Hashinov. Just too good. And when somebody's hitting it that well, you are going to have to shift. You're going to have to try and cover it, which is going to open up a little bit of an avenue down the tee on the ad side. Some difficulties to fend. Yeah, and maybe just catching Hashinov's eye there with his movement. Seems like without sleeves, you'd you'd be affected by the sweat on your racket handle more with a muscle shirt, wouldn't you? I mean, possibly. Affected by the change up from Hashinov on serve at the moment. When he misses it, it looks sort of ungainly, but then he'll hit three or four screaming winners off that side. Question that the backhand down the line Feeling is going to be a big shot for Tiafo tonight. Kashinov is uh, he's, he's so disciplined going backhand cross. He's got a good line backhand himself if he's in position. But you kind of feel that the onus is on the American to kind of change up the pattern of play a little quicker. Keep the change out of that one. 15, Nothing subtle there. Absolute sledgehammer of a return.
Oh. Won't be happy with that. 40, 30. Nothing sure then there'll be a, a large sigh from the crowd when it's close. A couple of flame throws in this game. The return from Ashinoff and that serve, 216 from Tiafo. Okay. Karan, who's here, gone three times out wide on the ad side with his first serve recently. Will he continue that trend? glued that to the line and as I was saying if he's in good position to take that backhand down the line it is a fantastic shot and you have to be wary of it wow that's unplayable for me to work his forehand out. Maybe yeah, he's got to use his feet very well. I mean, there he wasn't really backing up. He didn't respect the depth, and it was a, a very untidy shot in the end. Oh. Yeah, On the other side of the net, though, a very tidy opener. Jose Clave out there. Oh. He's going to have to rein in some of those errors on that wing. got such a lively arm, isn't he? It's such a simple motion, and he just gets so much velocity. Big swing. And a 38% swing on the other side of the court now. Francis started favour. It was a bold call from the win predictor. Oh. 
40-50. Couple of quarterfinals in Adelaide already for Ashinov. He lost to uh, Medvedev in the first one. Oh. And then Jack yeah. Draper turning the tables on him in the second one in the quarters as well. That looks a bit slow on the movement front, but when you've got a backhand that Ashinov has down the line, you have to hustle back to the middle from where he'd pulled you and then yep. therefore create space cross court. Sometimes it's almost better to go through the middle of the court on the previous shot. It seems that Hashinov, though, is dominating, or appears to be dominating the majority from the back of the court. Uh, he's pressing, he's making Tiafo defend. And occasionally that happens when Francis turns the tables on him, but most of the time so far, Hashinov looks pretty safe back there. Backhand has been magnificent so far. Catch enough. One all. And that will just make things just a, a little more awkward in Francis's mind as he tries to change things around here, introduce something else. Some of these matchups with these heavy hitting guys on the men's draw, they they turn into an arm wrestle early on, don't they? That's how they appear. Well, that's that's awesome. Both pretty big strong athletes here who can crush the ball. Gotta get that ego clashing. So you can win the battle of the wheels. Oh, that's, yeah, that's an incredible shot. That is extraordinary. Nothing really wrong with the approach, was there, Mark? Pretty decent approach here. And you'd think you'd get, at the very least, you'd get your racket on the next shot. Special pass. Yeah, he 
he's in trouble here. He, he looks prone to making more yeah, errors, he does, doesn't he, so. than Hashinov? Well, he looks like he feels like he needs to force. And, I mean, you can understand why to some degree. I mean, he's, he's made some nice forays into the net. He's made some nice attacking plays. And he's just been defeated by some brilliance down the other end of the court. So you can understand why he feels like he needs to do a little bit more than normal. Frank Costello there is a fitness coach. Might need all those miles in the legs that he's worked hard on here tonight. Oh, I believe the ball kid's all right. Mm. He's not sure where to go, so I mean, it, no. it creates indecision on that shot, doesn't it? Shall I go line here early? The backhand is rock solid. Well, I don't think line's the right shot there. I mean, I think he's got to get an easier ball to hit down the line. Otherwise, it's too risky. I mean. The margin of error is, is lower there. But you've got to get that one back across court in the court. Two break points early. Can't help thinking that that style of point suits this man more. Uh, yeah, I would like to see Francis bring the slice into play a little bit more, to be honest. As a clave there on the right. That's uh, Jose's confident look, I would say. Tay Bonicic, who's uh, looking after. Ashinov's fitness on the left of, well, on the right of Clave. And all is well in their world. He's read it, and he has hit one of the best shots of the day. There is some clean hitting out here on the John Kane court. <laughs> it's like two V8 engines. There's no four cylinders here.
<laughs> and neither of these guys are shrinking violets either. They like the noise. And they want atmosphere out here. Pretty special point, by the way. I was going to say to bring in Hashinov on his terms and then just guide one beautifully over him after having just been broken is some clear thinking. This is a major game here for both of them. If Hashinov can hold from Love 30 here, it goes a long way in my mind to help him get to a two sets to Love lead. This is a big game. TFO doing everything he can here to get back into it. Yeah, he's gone away from his rhythm of serving out wide. He's just trying to keep Tiafo honest, but he's missed the first serves. This is just highlight stuff here. Did I say he wasn't a man that played with a lot of touch all the time? You never said that. Oh, well, thank you. Thanks for backing me up, Mark. Look at this. Beautiful feel from a... From a very big mobile Ready athlete. He has dropped that back over. The other side of the net, like a sandbag. Well, this, to me, is a sign, though, that TFO has run out of a few ideas at the back of the court. He feels like, at the moment, he's, he's being beaten uh, from back there, and he's... He's having to come up with some variation. Oh, he's not wrong, is he? You can't airbrush reality. This is exactly what is going on. Anything a little bit high around waist height, and it is getting pummeled by Hashinov. And he's actually doing the right thing here. He's making some of these rallies a little more intricate. He needs to break here. That's the feeling I have. First serve's gone absent on the ad side. It's got him. Well, you've got to give it to him. Drop shotting three times yeah, on a hard court hard. surface, which I think at the best of Two times is a dangerous all. ploy. And he pulls it off. <laughs> a lover of crowds. Felt like a religious experience there.
15-30. Well, the tactic worked because it was brand new. It was unexpected. And Hashinov hadn't really formulated a plan to know what to do when he was getting up there. But that one, he was well aware it was coming. And he was up there at a gallop. in the baseline allowed him to take that ball on the rise great precision here from Tiafo and great determination <laughs> and the same can be said from the other side of the court great defiance there for Hashinov Good dig on the return. 40. And he did everything within his considerable power to force the American into a tough volley. And from exerting pressure, the American now facing pressure again. Certainly up the end, he's hitting the ball harder. Just knowing he has to come up with, with stuff that is different here against Hashinov. Not saying he's redlining yet, but he's really going after some of these ground strokes. Entertaining stuff. hit that from the food court and of course with so oh, much forward it. speed that even gotcha. even when he's a long way back it gets past you but this is dangerous going there and running in I mean, look where he's hit that from Fitzy though was it was a serious pass wasn't it I mean he has vaporized that forehand second chance to break 220. Oh, this is good stuff. Uh, I mean, Francis TFO really making a stand here. Juice. to get Hashinov chasing the score put a bit of pressure on him he's got the opportunity now what a two games flat in there you don't have time to recover do you 15 love I mean this is a good shot from Tiafo but this is the strength that backhand down the line and if he goes hard and fast he has no time to recover there Tiafo I think he's got to try and shorten his attack into that side and get it more three-quarter length rather than full length oh. roll it shorter not roll it. I think he can hit it flatter. He's got a pretty high spin rate on his backhand, Francis. It looks a very flat shot, but it's actually got quite a bit of work on it. I think he can find the three-quarter length and get 
Karen oh, out of the singles line. Try and get the ball to dissect the singles line and get him off the court rather than going fast and full length through the court. What about bringing him forward a fraction? Like well, I, th I think he's tried that in the last game, and, and that will work for him because, obviously, Karen will have to kind of move up to the baseline a little bit to cover that. And that's the other added consequence of using the drop shot. Your opponent does have to play a little bit closer to the baseline, so when you can go deep, possibly you can hurry them. But we've seen too many of those great backhands down the line for Ashinov to realize that you don't want to go there. Amazing how hard that shot is, and he makes it look like it's shelling peas. Hasn't missed one, virtually. Quality in it yeah. out here has been absolutely outstanding. Three games all. You won't see cleaners set and a half for tennis. Well, he had to Love lift his game it. and play some pretty exceptional stuff, Francis, down the other end. But can he do it again? Because this is like a, a freight train coming at him right now. That's where the, the technique on the forehand gets him caught sometimes. You know, he's, he, unless his feet are really, you know, light and quick, then he, it's dangerous. He might miss it if he's, if he's not in position. And a little bit off balance there. The arm takes too long sometimes to catch up with his, with his balance, I think, or his footwork, and just too late on that ball. Well, there's so much to enjoy out here, but uh, that is an advantage for Francis in terms of forehand heaven as he does have the bigger shot out here on that side. Can he utilize it a little more? That's for so. I mean, that it forehand could demolish it. houses, let alone people's dreams. Two break points. Plays a couple uh, of poor shots at the wrong time, his serve will be gone. Beautiful feel, though, having said all of that. Yeah. 
Well, it looks like a bad error, but if he doesn't stay in front in the rally and he gives Hashinov time on the ball, there's only That's one outcome. Four games to three, new balls, please. He, he's, he's in good form. He's moving well. And he looks confident, doesn't he, Hashinov? And, and it looks like, generally speaking, it looks like this matchup for him, he likes. I mean, they, we said at the start, you know, they are kind of mirror images of each other in terms of how they play. There is a little more flexibility in Francis's game. There's no question. And we saw that sort of in the sort of second segment of this second set. But if you stick to the foundations of both of their games, no, Hashinov is playing better. Yeah, exactly. It, yeah. And he's been searching for that serve. And greater problems arising here for Tiafo. If he starts nailing that one as well. He's having success with a drop shot, and I, I give him credit for that. But I'm just not convinced on a hard court if he has to revert to that too often. It's, yeah, it's probably not going to cut the mustard over a long period of time. Inside John Kane Arena here. Do you know where the expression cut the mustard came from? No, tell me. I like the saying though. It is a good saying, isn't it? The mustard crop used to grow in East Anglia in the UK and uh, the tool that they used because it was cut by hand. It when, it when it became blunt, Love you couldn't cut the mustard it anymore. Was a, it was a mustard cutter. Yeah. And, and when it got blunt, obviously, you couldn't cut it. So they said, we can't cut the mustard. And that is actually a little bit what's happening out here. All his tools are blunt tonight against the way that Hashinov's playing. Still dwelling on all of those thoughts. <laughs> Only in the UK. I'm sure there were mustard <laughs> crops somewhere else as well, but hey, that's what I know. Uh, magnificent. There's sugar cane where he comes from. But nothing too sweet for Francis tonight out here at the moment. It'll be a bittersweet trip if he does go out tonight, having been on the American team that won the United Cup in Sydney. <laughs> yeah, grand designs coming into Melbourne. They're potentially going to be hanging by a thread in the next five to ten minutes. Well, that semi-final appearance last year at his home Grand Slam was really an encouragement, wasn't it, to him and all of his camp about Surfaces like this where he can do a lot of damage. Let for serve. What a run that was.
There you go, Mark. Have you been sending messages? I do have Wayne's number, but I trust that he knows exactly what he's doing down there, and he's allowed to talk to Francis as well. I have to say, that was beautifully executed as well. Wow. Didn't take long for Ashenoff to decide that he was going to drive 14, through that forehand 13. rather than block it after the one serve and volley from the American. And that is how you counter another player's strategy. He's got the first point here, and the crowd will get into this. The tempo, I, I think, will go up here. Unless Hashinov serves him off the court in this game, the crowd could easily get involved and change the atmosphere. Missed a couple of those. He missed one on the break point in the opening game of this match that could have put him up a quick break against Hashinov, a man he's never been before. And that shot, which is usually so sharp, razor sharp, hasn't been there for him tonight. I mean, he completely mishit that. That came out, you could hear it come off the frame. Strange. Super easy to say from here, but that was a much slower first serve, as you can see, than he's been delivering. And there was an opportunity to coax that one down the line into the backhand side of Hashinov rather than just roll it cross court into his favoured forehand. That's better. Serve out wide has been his favoured one on the juice side. Oh. 40-30. Almost 20k slower than his normal first serve. You can either say that, that was nerves or that was absolutely brilliant strategy to get Francis swinging early at the ball. What it does do is bring up set point. Brilliant save from Tiafo. It wasn't beyond the realms of possibility, though, that Ashinov was going to chase yes. that down for the winner. Edge of the seat stuff at the moment. The ball's out, and they're set right almost out of this man's reach. 
And if it is out of his reach, he's going to have to do something tonight for us to that he's never done before. And that's come from two sets to love down. And that is the scenario that faces the American. He's got to win the next three sets. Hashinov deservedly up by two sets to love. Machado leads two sets to love. It's got a real feel-good feeling. Not something that I think that Tiafo has right now. Oh, he got away with it. Not tactically that correct by my reasoning. A miss hit backhand down the line straight to the opposition's forehand. Somehow Hushinoff miss hit it. But at 30 love, it was probably a little less risky. an inconsequential game for Francis Tiafo. Same thing again. He's, he's feeling under pressure, Tiafo. He's not winning from the back of the court. This guy's too solid and Hits too big for him, certainly in this uh, on this evening. So he's he's having to come up with something different, something special, using touch, bringing the big guy in. Fifty all. What a rare shots this man has at his disposal. Well, here the forehand lets him down again. That's a poor approach. Just defends the volley, but it wasn't enough. Once he's caught in at the net, the ground stroker usually these modern days has the upper hand. There's even a smile on Hashinov's face as he went to run back for it. He knows how good that was. Master craftsman at work out here. He likes a bit of theatre too. 
He might, he might slot into an Eric Banner movie. Fun to watch is Tiafo. Oh, yes, sir. That's, that's good stuff from a big man. Moving him forward is usually a difficult process for a big guy to, to handle. But strength in the legs here gets him down low, and, gee, has he got control on that two-hander. He has to move the dynamic around, doesn't he? Tiafo to have a chance here. He's got, he's got to bring the crowd into it, change the atmosphere. Something. introduced a heady center possibilities and that is something that Hashinov now is having to manage and in the face of seemingly overwhelming odds Tiafo potentially is going to get the perfect start here to the third set Service game that has a similar feel to the one that he started the match with. It was a 10-minute opening game of this match. Ashinov held on. He and saved five break I points. Tell. definition a sequel can't be the original you just have to figure out what worked the first time around and that is exactly what's going through Hashinov's mind right now trying to extricate himself from this difficult situation at the start of the third set
Right. Just... He's brought his gem cutter out here, hasn't he, Tiafo, in this opening game of the third? You have to admit, his, his touch on those drop shots has been quite exceptional. He needs it, by the way, because he's not winning. He's not winning another way. He's, he's bringing his opponent forward with beautiful feel. And if he can break here, it'll be the first time he's led in a set. Certainly been up a break in a set, and uh, it might give him an outside chance. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. That is just outrageous as well. How low was that that he hit Beautiful. the winner from? Yeah, Tiafo could probably consider himself a little unlucky here to be beaten by such a great shot. It was intended. But how do you change? Well, you can, of course, change the direction of this ball, but it's lower percentage, so it's a risk. Heck of a shot. Oh, that's not too bad either. He hasn't played this well since 2018. That's your opinion? Yeah. I mean, he played well last year, but I mean, he, he's been under pressure here. He's had a lot to deal with. It just looks so clean, looks so clear. Touche. He's an interesting player, Tiafo, isn't he? Just lights it up yeah, every now and then out of nowhere. Tiafo. Two luminous bits of skill as well, back to back from him. Can he light his side of the school, but up with a number two? And arguably, that's one of the best shots he's hit tonight to at least force the American to have to come up with something. He didn't overplay it. It's so easy to do. You know you can't hit a clean winner from there. Great discipline. That's the return you want to see. It's the one I was talking about in the previous service game. Just coax it down the line deep. And it was measured from the American. Can he hit his mark here? And that was absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Juice. <laughs> You're a star. Oh, he needs an upgrade to the Rod Laver. <laughs> Front row here, maybe. VIP seats for the rest of the Thank tournament. You. I don't know if the camera was able to get that. That was pinging around like in a pinball machine, and he caught it. <laughs> I don't think I've seen him 
this relax certainly from 2018 mark anyway and it holds him in good stead if you feel this is his best form the draws opened up here too patch doesn't he some heavyweights have gone out there's a, a cloud hanging over Novak someone can come through and take a, a Grand Slam event here a player similar to this stature can do it he, I think he's suggesting there probably should have been a warning there is he Not sure. I don't know if you want to poke the bear when you're no. in this situation, really. Yeah. Like, it, yeah. It, it, go ahead. I know what you mean. I mean, he, it's, he's in the lead and he's looking comfortable and he's winning all the right points at the right time right now, but it won't take a lot for this to change. His body language to me doesn't necessarily think he's got a good chance here, Tiafo, either. Tiafo is trying some unusually difficult stuff. His game plan's gone out the window. He's not sure how to play against Hashinov right now. Start of the match, he had those chances, and he's had a few more subsequent to that. But ever since he let Hashinov off the hook in the opening game of this match, Hashinov has gone from strength to strength. It's been one of the best performances individually so far I've seen. And there has been a lot of great tennis from the American as well. A lot of subtle tennis, a lot of finesse. Sheer power hasn't been getting through this man from the back of the court. He's been dragging Hashinov up to the net. <laughs> Serious smash. They knock those smashes off with ease, don't they, these guys? As they should. And he needs to hang on to this. They'll be deepening despair if he didn't hang on to this service game. Chances in the last game to get up and running with a break early here for the American. crowd oh. 15 long Oh. 
todos. Not a great move 30, for him. He 50. wants to be going left there and hit a forehand and drag himself back to the middle of the court. He's actually out positioning himself. It's almost too far inside the baseline. At 160 Ks, you can kind of rush Tiafo. Many of the big points tonight on the juice side. He's gone out wide to the American. <laughs> and if I knew it, Francis knew it. And there's that return onto the backhand side of Hashinov. Hasn't found it enough, but he's found it here, and it is not too late for the American. Chances coming thick and fast in the third set for Tiafo. of support for Francis Tiafo. <laughs> Tennis's comeback king put on a show late Game last night, four. early morning. Is it Two the Americans' three turn? Games to one. Well, he's a showman. And I think if he'd been on an outside court here somewhere playing with no support, no crowd noise, he probably would have trudged his way to a three-set defeat, but this is the capability of him in front of a big crowd. He can light it up. Wasn't a great approach shot. He's hit better, and Hashinov has hit better replies. A pivot point in this contest. It's a clave. He has been around the game forever, and he will understand some dangerous moments here for his man. The first of the evening. It's his 25th birthday today, Francis Tiafo on his 21st birthday, he got past Dimitrov to reach his first ever Grand Slam quarterfinal in 2019. And Tiafo, he'd like to give himself a birthday present today. It's 4-1, he may just do that. Well, it's a fair bit easier love. retaining a, a positive uh, mindset if you're two sets to love up. You can be down. You can be down a break.
Oh, he almost left him hanging. <laughs> Beautiful. He's a character, isn't he? 30 love. Got to love him. Yeah, but retaining a, a positive mindset here is easier, I think, if you, you're up two sets to love. Even if you're down and breaking the third, you can, you can treat this third set as a bonus if you get back even. But don't let it go lightly. Gabe, okay. catch out. New balls, please. Ball change. Tier for leads. Four games to two. Just taking a look at Hashinov's record um, from two sets to love up. We know that Francis hasn't made this particular journey from two sets to love down. It will be his first time of doing it. He has lost a two sets to love lead, they say, but. It doesn't really count for me. It was the next gen finals back in 2017, and they were the first of four games in that particular competition, and that was against Borna Chorich as well. So, realistically, he's never lost from this position, Hashinov. 29 and 0. Oh. that return love 15 I mean some of the forehands he's hit as it's landed on the concrete it's sent off tremors isn't it there's seismic activity <laughs> I sense just a, an inkling of hyperbolation there that was swift two K's slower than his fastest of the night Bit of your own medicine, Karen. The back end down the line, opening the quarter. That's where you take the highest risk and you can maybe gain the highest reward by going down the line with that backhand, two-hand backhand, over the high part of the net. And this is the opportunity it presents to you then. The ball of its bounce, no chance for Hashinov. Plenty of opportunity here for Tiafo. 5 2. Love 15. Oh, there's a real attractiveness to the way he's playing the game, though. Slicing, dicing, drop shotting. Having fun, that helps. I love him as a tennis character. He, he's, he brings a lot to the sport, doesn't he? Fifteen all. Yeah, it's a tremendous cast of characters we have on tour. So many different backstories. So many cultures.
30-15. And every single one of them with the future in their own hands. The ability to dictate what is about to happen. Let for serve. Fold. Fold. Interesting to see what Hashinov does here. He's he's behind the eight ball in this third set. He has gone out consistently wide on this due side on big points. It's almost like a free point to just try and keep Francis honest and go down the tee fast. Fold. It was the right serve, just didn't execute it. Forty thirty. He'd be a heck of a player if he could just cut out the unusual, unforced errors on the forehand wing. The ones that the ones that come when you least expect it. If he could solidify that side of his body, gee, I reckon he'd be tough to beat. Because he can hurt you with it. It's just inconsistent. Well, you've got to admit, it's it's not the process that this man wants to go through, yes. moving forward. And as, as much as a hard court like this is difficult to drop shot on, it's probably what's got him, ultimately got him back into the match, isn't it, Tiafa? And the other thing you've got to remember is that if your opponent's doing that to you, it forces Hashinov to have to play pretty high pace tennis. Oh, That's no, no. <laughs> well, that, what is the sorcery? No one can deny this talent in that hand. Advantage, CFO. That was scary good, wasn't it? Absolute wizardry. Juice. Well, he killed the mood there, didn't he? <laughs> it's not getting an invite back to the party. That's, that's not a bad nickname, the mood killer. Advantage, catch out on. Great scramble. Great contest. Another great advertisement for tennis and the Australian Open tonight. So the momentum's changed generally, Mark. That hold of serve from Hashnoff was very, very important from his point of view because the momentum could have gained. If he'd, if he'd lost that serve, it was 6 2. Tiafo starts serving. The momentum might increase, but now he's got a chance to really stop it in its tracks. Oh. And at the very worst, start the third ser excuse me, the fourth set serving.
If you had to, would you have paid for your ticket here? No. <laughs> you wouldn't have. I would have snuck in. You would have snuck in it. Oh, I'm just cheap. <laughs> I know you would have. You would have paid. So good, wasn't it? A little extra sauce on that one. I would have, I would have bought you one, mate. You could have come with me. My date. I'll be your wingman anytime. Everywhere I turn up with you, we have amazing evenings. You got a little sick of running forward on that one. Dirty love. He's got a lot of court to manage, hasn't he? He's got big down the line. He's got big cross. He's got short drop shot. Both sides as well. This is loud in here. They want more. 40, 15. Well, in keeping with his kaleidoscopic outfit, he has hit him <laughs> with a collection of chaos out here in terms of the skill, the shots. Wayne looks on, studious as ever, but he must be proud. This has been a superb reversal of fortune by Francis Tiafo. Two set points. A rush of blood. 40, 30. I don't know. Maybe he just thought, if I'm going to win this, I'm going to win it big. <laughs> Didn't need to hit the ball that hard, did he? Magnificent. That previous hold from Hushnoff, though, was important. It, it, it doesn't allow the momentum to go so fast. It slows it down and, it, and enables him to get his nose in front early in the fourth. That's where you want to be. I don't think he's going to be able to take the crowd out of it, but he's going to definitely try and just quiet them down for a moment if he can. Oh, it's Bolden. 
He's hating running forward here, Hashinov, isn't he? 30 50. How good was that for him, to be fair? So, so what you do by bringing him forward is you put his weaker game against your better game. You bring him forward, it's his, you know, it's not where he wants to be up at the net. He ends up playing his B grade game rather than his A grade. Yeah, and what you might see off the back of that is Hashinov trying to overplay to not give him the time to hit that little s soft slice. There, yeah. changing up the direction. Yeah. And that cost him a double fault. He, yep. Made him go for more. Uh, tennis. Athletic chess. The great 30. late Robin Williams said that tennis was a like chess but played at 90 miles an hour and he wasn't wrong. Who said that? Robin Williams. Well, that was interesting. He didn't even run for this, Hashinov. Well, right now, Hashinov doesn't know what's coming. Juice. You didn't sense uh, an injury there, did you? Well, I'm just, I'm, I'm curious to see why he would want to conserve energy from there. I mean, Francis was a long way behind the, the service line taking that swing volley. All of a sudden, this becomes a very important couple of points. Stage. That's the first time he's tried it. And he did a very good job on the crush and rush. Easy in retrospect. A solid volley down the line, probably. Can you believe this turnaround? He's taking over the court now, Tiafo. Juice. And we thought after the first two sets that Tiafo was lost. And I think he was. Now the roles are a little bit reversed. That is a world-class delivery. Catching off, just catching the outside edge of the line, off-pace delivery. And that's where the error will come because he just absolutely leathered that because he was yes. worried about just dropping it in court and Tiafo with the little short backhand was going to bring him into the net again. It may look at times that players suddenly play worse, but it's because of what's happened down the other end. Got him. He's weaving his web. Advantage. CFO. Well, his coach was a clever player, Wayne Ferreira. Semi finalist at Wimbledon. And that shot, Fitzy, was elusive in the first couple of hours. He's got his full array of shots. And he's got Hashinov's full attention. Break point. Set and 
sensational. Love 15. Fifty it all. That's not where he wants to find himself. Going in on a ball that is the wrong approach, straight to the forehand, and finding himself in a defensive position at the net. He's going to struggle with that matchup. playing your drop shot. Anything down the line probably would have won this point. 15, Push 30. it down the line. Hit it down there. Well, at least go back the other way so that there was a sort of semi-circular run for Hashinov. That was a straight diagonal to that particular point on the court. Yeah, he got there easily. He's a thoroughbred. He's going to gallop that down. Well, Hashinov digging in here. All of a sudden, he's got a fight on his hands. And he needs to get back into the rhythm he was in the first couple of sets. What does Robbie Coney call it? The boomerang break? I think he's patented that. Lose your serve, break straight back. Time violation warning, Mr. Tieto. the situation and One game a loss of serve from Hashinov for the start of the fourth has provoked a very strong reaction from him and that was impressive well it certainly stops the right and his chance is now to reverse some of that momentum Forehand drop shot in the end was a very costly mistake. Love 15. Smart second serve. It's got to keep that backhand quiet.
could he have worked just a little harder to get it on the forehand, which would have been an easier shot, more spin. It's one thing to know the right thing to do. It's another thing to have the courage to do it. And thirdly, to execute it in the manner that he has. He has kept that back and return quiet in this game. He's like a, a bolt of lightning, isn't he? he? He just strikes when you least expect. What a shot. Seen that before, and that's the way you rise up after taking a standing eight. Leads two games to one. Oh. Fifteen love. Fifteen all. Pretty light second serve, wasn't it? 127 Ks, that's slow. Fitzgerald range. <laughs> it's faster than mine. Is there a two cylinder car? <laughs> yeah, it's called a push bike. <laughs> 30 15. We better not talk it down too much. People will actually start to believe it. You know? Things have changed slightly, haven't they? He's gone off the boil slightly. It's always inevitable. And Hashinov is back in business. He looks positive. Oh, oh gee, a big error. Let's hope this game's not a disaster for... for for Francis' uh, sake. Yep, um, Broomfield, who's uh, Francis' girlfriend in the box there, will be feeling a little nervous right now. When you're emotionally invested in a player as she is, this has suddenly become a big moment here. Is Hashinov about to reel off three straight games at the start of the fourth? It's like a basket full of surprises to me. Juice. You just don't know what's coming.
What a mover. Looks like he's not going fast and he's motoring. Beautiful. Hold the pose, cue the applause. Advantage, CFO. That'll be on the Instagram. <laughs> oh, what a character. in numbers right now than characters to a piece. Frank Costello. Two games all. It's an amazing sport, isn't it? It is a razor's edge at times between triumph and defeat. One point in that previous game and all of a sudden Hashinov up 3-1 and racing to the finishing line. Was that? I don't know. So the choices are so opposite of what you expect sometimes with him. <laughs> Where was a conventional volley there? Did so well to anticipate, didn't he? to take your eyes off isn't he he really is he just did a little jig there just to see if that had landed in First one he's missed. Where pretty, was the, pretty was the, much. Where was the cross court one? Don't need to go over the high part of the net. Oh. He's had so much success with that little short chip, not necessarily a drop shot, but a, a short Ash Barty type chip. It's so effective bringing players in. Gabe, okay. catch out. Shalov leads three games to two. Fifteen love. That's the one that John Fitzgerald was asking for, and that's the one that he's just reintroduced into proceedings. Yeah. 
He has, he has an incredible approach you mentally, doesn't he, uh, Tiafo? It's why he's okay. so interesting because this is a big match for both of these guys. This draw's opened up at the Australian Open a little bit this year. There is an opportunity for a player of this caliber on this tennis court to go the whole way. And yet he's, he's so free-spirited, sort of, isn't he? Great way to be, I guess. Swift and secure on serve. Nishioka awaits in the next round. Oh. 15 love. Hence the open draw. Tough player, though, Nishioka. Yeah, started the year well. And as threatening as Tiafo's been in the last hour, he's still in dangerous territory, isn't he? Once you're down two sets to love, anything that gets close to the back end of a set. Yeah, we've had a lot of complicated, congested games in this fourth set, but a couple of ones that look as though they're going to go relatively quickly. Unless Tiafo can conjure up something here. Just plucked out the air. One hander. The type of point Hashinov wants. Love 15. It's a shame we're not going to give that lady some air time. Let's up. That's the territory we're in right now. Those type of margins. You can also want something too much, and that was a pretty strong reaction of the negative kind there from Hashinov. It's always easy to try and read too much into it, but he was absolutely livid with himself. It's like the, the serious opportunist against the free spirit, isn't it, here? Hashinov knows what an opportunity this is. 30-50. A wide open draw. A potentially injured Novak Djokovic. We don't know for sure. Someone new can win this event.
30 all. shot he took a risk that was a mighty big one at, at that dropping that short 30. to the forehand that's risky but he reads the the passing shot easily and it's easy to say that it was up high so that it didn't bring the net into play but actually he wouldn't have been expecting it to be that high he's reacted brilliantly to that off pumped he smells a little bit of blood here it's just a little bit in the water famous family Jose's from his brother Francisco was a mighty good player reminiscent of the opening couple of sets. Fra Francis is better off hitting this forehand and staying yes. back. Once, once you go forward, you open yourself up to this passing shot. Better off staying back. He could have defended the next ball. Unless you can really penetrate on that wing, don't go there and run in is my philosophy. through that swing I'm thinking don't hit this ball on the net Francis but he was good enough still got the price tag plastic bit <laughs> on his shirt I think, I think he ripped the price tag off but Thank the, you. the plastic's still there And he is oscillating mm. very quickly between safety and extreme danger. Yeah. Wayne's heart rate must be uh, pretty high, you'd think. Tearful. 
that first service. Sigh of relief from the coach. Jordi Arcanada, who was uh, a rival of Francis's back in the day, next to Wayne there. He will be super proud of his best friend. 50, love. It was a game of great shots, but more importantly, great courage. players start getting within, uh, within reach. They can almost grasp that finish line. The tension mounts, doesn't it? The hardest games to win. And that blood-curdling call was, was part of that tension. Four. I don't actually think the Crush and Rush is a bad player at the moment just to put the pressure on straight after the surf, but he missed it once and he hasn't gone back to it. Uh. And an uncertain Game. outcome. Uh. Well, that had GPS coordinates that were locked in. And it did not deviate as it left his strings. And he will be hoping for no more Thank detours you. on his route through to the fourth round here, Hashinov. Let. Suboptimal start to the game for Francis. Sumptuous bit of skill from Hachinov.
Feel what presence of mind from Tiafo there. 14, Goodness 13. me. The tension there was palpable. One little mistake, he was down match point, and he comes up with the most beautiful touch shot. Edge of the seat time for his fans. They were out of their seats, and some of them behind their seats. Ashinov perhaps a little unlucky that he's playing somebody Brandable with the play. flexibility and the hand skills of Tiafo. Not many players could have conjured that up. Well, he probably feels the crowd hasn't been with him, Ashinov. I think he's right, but it's not personal. They just love the flair and the, the genuine the genuine skill that Tiafo possesses. And they love this guy too, I think. Just want it to go to five. Just full of unpredictability to me. That's Advanced that's why it's so interesting. Seven. Well, his lateral thinking, what a mind he has to play this sort of stuff under all. these conditions. <laughs> Thank you. I wonder Ready if Wayne knows Wayne. what he's going to do next. Looking to try and take it on. Last 15. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep quiet after a first serve fault. Quiet. I mean, honestly. to have fun here, don't they? Oh, I mean, I couldn't agree with you more, Fitzy. This whole, we need a play in a cathedral like atmosphere. No, we don't. And the players oh, are more than capable it. of dealing with a bit of noise after they miss their first serve. Oh. 
15-13. Tiafo just has this innate ability to get the excitement level up. You want quiet, you can go to the library. <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny guy. Oh, yes, he served coming through for him. He's a great competitor, this guy. And he's an awesome uh, person as well. Yep. Deserves his success. He's still favourite here. There's magic in the air in Melbourne. Wherever you look, whatever day you come to the Australian Open, something awesome is happening. This crowd is begging for a fifth set. They're on their hands and knees. Will he be brave? Will he come in? Will he go for the attack in return here? Thank you. Oh. He's starting to really think the crowd's against him, isn't he? And did Francis miss a little bit of a chance there? Was never going to be the quickest second serve after what had just happened. Could he have been a little bit more proactive with his feet and done a bit more with a return? He's all of us, wondering what's coming next. <laughs> Apparently, it's another Tiafo service game. Maybe Hashinov has to go hard and deep straight at Tiafo here. I mean, he's going down the line, which is logical, but it opens himself up. I, it, look, it's not his forte to move forward. He's in his least preferable position by having to move forward like that, but maybe something different. Go hard straight at the body, even if he's on the baseline, something. Good shot, wow. He's clever, no doubt about that. 30 love.
sublime. Faulty love. mind that though he's uh all job a couple of times what you don't want to do is allow hashin in this breaker that's potentially coming up here the knowledge that you're just going to just drop one in and he's going to be able to run around it and just rip a forehand from that ad side that keeps him honest assuming he can put the finishing touches on this game Just the players. Half a chance, of course. Francis One, was perfect zero. in tiebreakers at the off. US Open on his run through there to the last four. The same location that Hashinov made 8 and 0 in tiebreakers in New York last year. He actually went on a nice little straight 13 continuous tiebreakers one before losing one to Fritz in the final at Tokyo. So both these players in their last Grand Slam of last year were semi-finals. One all. That's the level we've got on this court. And one of them has a chance because they both can't do it this year. One of them can, though, and can maybe go better. Let's go service. Who can, who can come up with the magic more often? Does he lock him up with a big tee serve? Does he give him the cross court backhand return? Oh. Two bits of magic. He's more prone to it, isn't he? He's got another trick up his sleeve. Ian up out of her seat, and she wants more from Three, the crowd. One, They're giving two, everything four. they can. The revelers here are reveling in this performance from Tiafo. Thank you. And it's another second serve for the American to go to work after. Does anyone do a celebration better than Francis Tiafo? And there aren't too many people that can hit a better backhand than this either. Talk about top draw. Four, one, Tiafo. 
Three little bits of magic in three points. He's turned hope into belief. 5-1 TFR. He has turned water into wine. <laughs> it is harsh on the guy that the crowd's not really barracking for. But it's not personal. They just can't help themselves with this guy. They love him. You gotta love that jig. Five set points. Six, two. TFO. Only once before from down two sets to love as he pushed it to a fifth set. against Fabio Fanini at Roland Six, Garros in three, 2017. Two, 16 times the American has been down two sets to love. He has never won in five. But surely he's going to give himself a chance now. Stranger things have happened. That's See three come and gone. Thank you. Let's first serve. Can you believe this, Mark? I guess it. I guess it's happening. Four points in a row. You would never have guessed it, though. Six-one up to six-five. One set point remaining here, and it's on Hashinov's serve. Thank you. Ready for play. Thank you. Good 
unless he thought he had it. If that ball had eyes, it had a peak over the net for sure. Well, Six all. The unpredictability. Do you think Jose Clever has seen many tennis matches? He has seen a lot, but I'm not sure he's seen any more dramatic matches than this. A toss of the coin now for this fourth set. Thank you. What temperament from Hashinov as well. Already, thank you. Down and out. Seven, Staring six. into the abyss of a fifth That's set out. after leading by two sets to love. He reels off six straight points. And he has a passage into the fourth round here with a match point. It's bedlam here. And it's brilliant. Eight, seven, CFO. Box office. Sixth set point. Ashenoff catches up to it. Was it one too many drop shots? 9 8. Catch out of. Well, every shot magnified in these moments. Second match point. We've seen it all. It's Tiapo time in Melbourne. I think I think only Frankie could have played that. <laughs> who would have who else would have thought of playing it again after losing the previous point to one? Mr. Magic. I mean last Nine night all. As Francis's girlfriend looks on, she can barely breathe. It was uh, evoking memories of Connors and Crickstein with Murray and Kokonakis last night.
but the flair of the man. And this, again, just an absolutely stunning showcase of this man's talent and this sport at its absolute pinnacle. Fever pitch. And in amongst the rubble of Tiafo's ambitions, Ten, nine, this man has played some absolutely sensational tennis. He did not want to go through the rigors of a fifth set, Thank and you. he has an opportunity now for the first time on his serve to close this match out. The purest of impure emotions on his face. <laughs>